Hello, finally, here we are, the third and final Arcs of Omen book, Vashtor. Oh, well, it's not the final one, it's the third one in the whole Chaos lore. Um, I believe that the next one that has been announced is actually going to take a bit more place with the, um, what are they called, the Tau Empire? But for now, uh, let's have a look what's in this book. Picked it up today, just played a few uh, boarding action games. It went so-so. So I haven't actually had the time to read the lore uh, in Angron as of yet, but um, it's such an incredibly um, incredible amount of lore. And this one seems to be a rather hefty chunk as well. Uh, yeah, so it's this whole siege of the rock uh, that is basically currently. Oh, there we go. This is uh, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, this actually looks like one of those old um, maps that you had in video games, like Doom or Metroid, something like that. So yeah, great stuff. Cool, very cool. Yep, it's a pretty decent chunk of lore here as well. Oh, even more. So, yeah, this box was also released today, Vashtor, and, uh, well, we're going to have a look at them very soon. Uh, because they are actually in this book. I had to look through before I started this video. Okay, showcase, here we go. Um... So the Dark Angels and Chaos. I'm not sure if um, these knights are incredibly, incredibly cool. I love these guys. Supreme Grandmaster Asriel, that's his name. Sorry, I'm not a Dark Angels player, so uh, don't know too much about him. How about this guy, Vashtor? Uh, I'm not sure if he's actually going to be his own army in 10th edition or so. I mean, obviously all of this is just building up to 10th edition, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be kind of weird if we have another sub-faction of Chaos, but uh, if it leans a little bit more towards the whole Soul Forge, Dark Mechanicum thing, you know, I'm, I'm game, absolutely, sure. Uh, if I can combine them with my Chaos, uh, that would be swell. Yeah, Demon Princess. Prince, not princess, sounds weird. Yeah, Chaos Demons and Vashtor. Is that the old, uh, oh, what's its name? I haven't seen that model in a long, long time. Yeah, so here we go. Finally, Chaos Demons, Necrons, Tyranids, Genius Dealer Cults, Death Guard, and Adeptus Mechanicus. So, still a lot of armies that are not. Uh, they're going to be in the next one, the fourth uh, Boarding Patrol booklet. Still no Eldari, no Drukari. Uh, what are they called again? Thousand Sons and uh, plenty of other factions. But these are it for now. Um, I used to be a Necron player, so I just had a look at these. and Well, I mean, th these are actually quite nice. Um, you are allowed to have your cryptex and even the flying ones. So, I mean, Necrons just wouldn't be what they are without the uh, cryptic, sorry, the, uh, what was his name? Te the Technomancer? Yeah. So they wouldn't really be what they are. Rapid reanimation. That was actually a very nice one. Instead of, yeah, you got your resurrection protocol and all these. So yeah, so very, very nice. You're actually allowed to use scarabs, I think, as well. So a lot of good things for Necron players. Uh, maybe I should actually dust off my old mummies and have a go with them again. Uh, turn is Genius Dealer Cults. It's been ages since I saw anyone play with these. Uh, not really sure why. Maybe because there's other cool factions like the Death Guards. Um, they also have a pretty... Not too many rules adaptations compared to, well, some other factions, but yeah, that's cool. 
Death Goddess is also one of those that I'm kind of been considering because I'm a Chaos player, so yeah. Well. Uh, Death and Mechanicus, I know very little about these guys. Oh yeah, okay, so here's the thing. In this book, you're actually allowed to play like the the, the, the Besiege of the Rock, like the, the, the Siege of the Rock campaign mission sort of thingy, uh, both as a narrative campaign, but you're actually allowed to play this as uh, in boarding actions, uh, and I believe that you can either twist the rules a little bit because like Vastor himself, he's a monster unit and he's a flying unit. You can't really use that in boarding actions, but I think you can do that with this sort of rule adaptation here. One needs to be Chaos and the other one Imperium. I actually held that box in my hand today uh, with the Dark Angels and Vastor. Um, so... Uh, I think you can actually use him uh, regardless. That's okay to bend the rules a little bit. So yeah, there's a whole uh, campaign of the siege. And we have a couple of new rules in this one. These are some things like defenders upgrades and attackers upgrades. So these are actually things you can use from your kin zone uh, boxes. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have these, so I'm probably going to have to use some old Necromunda ah, thingies that I might have laying around. And so it continues. Uh, as you see now, it's actually called Imperium Entry Zone and Chaos Entry Zone. So this is very specific. Uh, I mean, obviously, you're going to be able to play any any kind of army facing the other army. But for the sake of the narrative, I uh, haven't read all the rules yet. But for the sake of the narrative, I suppose that it's this whole... Uh, the whole siege campaign of the rock. And uh, no, it's not Dwayne Johnson. It's, that's, that's what it's called. Uh, rapid, yeah, Chaos player has the first turn. Well, good news for me. Or actually, it's not. I actually had the first turn every single game today. And I lost very much of them. Pretty much all of them, actually. <laughs> Damn corpse lovers. Uh, take the teleportarium. I love that they actually, it's so amazing that they actually managed to create so many different layouts from one box of content, the um, boarding action uh, content box. Field collapse. Yeah, these are. Th this was actually pretty cool. It seemed that you could actually kind of like shoot between these portals, sort of thing. Like they have so many good things. Um, I mean, it kind of starts to remind me of some other board games out there where they keep inventing like new, uh, like narratives, happenings in the game, and so on. So yeah. And as you can see. There's still the chaos, the Imperium entry zone. These look very, very interesting. Very, very much. And you see there's tons of new rules for each and every one. I'm actually, I'm so glad I finally made this whole boarding action thing happening. Uh, but it, it should have happened a long time ago. Um, and I love it. I think, I think it's great. Really, really great. Um, yeah, escape zone. Rapid withdrawal. Desperate holdout. I hope you, like me, actually, you see there's a lot of these open spaces. We always add in a little bit of extra like environment, like pipes, so you can actually have some sort of cover, move between, so it's not just an open space. And especially not considering what my, my enemy is playing, uh, with his hell blasters and such. I mean, god dang, they they do a lot of damage, especially in these open areas. I see a lot of open areas here. Retake the elevator. Yep. Oh, this this was interesting. Escape zone. Imperial lift entry. Chaos entry zone. And uh and a bunch of rules. Cool. <laughs> Each time a unit from the Chaos player's army is destroyed, the Imperium player scores 10 victory points. So how does the Chaos 
score victory points then, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Yep, before we get onto the data sheets here, let's see. Uh, I didn't count as how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight new missions. Fantastic. That is great news. Uh, it's really time for me to start playing narrative campaigns or at least follow the rules somewhat with um, with this campaign missions and maybe i should actually get vashtur but i kind of want to have the demon prince in my army i'm going to release a tutorial pretty soon for all you chaos players out there uh well how i play boring patrols and my thoughts about it so yeah Okay, data sheets. Here we go. Here they are. Bastard, Arcfane, and Asriel. These guys pack some heavy heat. And a lot of cool, great abilities. Like I said, he's a uh, da -da 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 -da, flying monster unit. So, yeah. But I guess that the rules are in here. Like I said, I haven't read everything yet. Uh, so, he's probably... Uh, how many points is this guy? Power rating 13, power rating 9, but... I mean, he, he's got to be at least, like... Gee, I don't know. 300 points? Maybe? Something like that? So I'm not going to go through every single... Um, well, actually, let's see. 12 movement, inch. Weapon skill, 2 plus. Ballistic skill, 2... No, sorry, 3 plus. Strength and toughness, 7. Okay, he's a tough cookie. 14 wounds, 7 attacks, 9 leadership, 2 save rolls. So yeah, he's a pretty <laughs> he's a pretty heavy guy. The claw, yeah. Oh, that's right. It, 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 uh, his claw actually kind of works as an uh, assault weapon. So yeah, that's cool. He can still advance and still shoot. D6. Uh, I don't know what to say about these things when you kind of have to... I mean, it can be anything from good to bad. Either you get one attack... Or you get six of them. Um, five strength, minus two are AP, one damage. Each time an attack is made with this weapon, the target automatically hits the target. Okay, so basically it's a flamethrower, uh, but it doesn't get that flamer bonus that Chaos actually have. So that that's a shame. His hammer, uh, yeah, this is lovely. Strength times two, so basically he's he, he got 14 in strength. So in weapon skill, he misses on ones, and if nothing else happens, he misses on ones. Uh, each time an attack is made with, uh, against vehicles, fire plus, and target suffers four mortal wounds, and the attack sequence ends. Yeah, okay. And warp strike. That's awesome. So you can actually teleport in. Body on a holy arc fan. Four plus invulnerable save. Fantastic. Each time an attack is made allocated with this model, subtract one from the damage characteristics of that. Attack to a minimum one. Wow. Okay. I really want this guy. Hmm. Of course, there's a lot of um, abilities here that are probably a little bit more for vehicles, I think. When you select an ability, select one friendly, turret a star demon, demon engine, yeah, model, character, uh, excluding Titanic. Yeah, so he cannot really be used with knights. We're in three inches of the model until the start of your next command phase. Each time an attacker is made with a add one to the attacker's hit roll. Yeah, that's pretty standard stuff. Oh yeah, he's got warlord traits as well. That's great. So yeah, that's just the thing with boarding actions. We're not allowed to have warlord traits now, so we're actually going to have to deal with the enhancements instead. And for you dark angels players, let's see. Six inches movement, two plus, two plus strength and toughness four. Oh, well, seven wounds, six attacks. Yeah, nine leadership, two save roll. Got a bolt pistol, which never hits anything, I noticed. <laughs> it's just standard stuff. Lion's Wrath, which one is that? Yeah, rapid fire. Mastercraft, the plasma gun. Eight in strength. Oh, it's a huge difference. Either you got four in strength or eight. 4 AP. It's the same damage. It's just easier to wound with the 
the second one. Here we go. Sword of Secrets, uh, plus three, uh, four, five, six, seven in strength. That's pff, okay. Uh, I mean, it's still not double the toughness, so I don't know. But you got four, minus four in AP, so that's that's all forgiven, and three wounds. And mortal wounds in addition, normal damage, yeah. And grenades, yeah, and of course there's all of these angels of death, four plus invulnerable save, chat the master, yeah, there's tons and tons of rules here. Really, really tough guys, very strong, very capable of inflicting a lot of damage. But I really have to go through the rules, I mean, it, it makes sense, but at the same time it doesn't make any sense that these two guys, especially Vashtor, are actually in this uh, booklet for boarding actions. I know they, they have their data sheets in um, that big box that was released today as well. Uh, that is basically these two armies facing off in the siege of the rock. So, yeah, I'm going to have to read up on those rules. Where did it go? Here we go. Uh, to see if I can or use this guy in these missions. Yeah. Anyways, great, great stuff. Very cool. So that's what's in the latest Arcs of Women, Ashtor book. Um, there's probably going to be another one very, very soon. Until then, uh, happy gaming and thanks for watching.